request the director of the film, Shri Sanjeevan Lal, to please come up to the stage and say a few words. Good evening once again. I hope you like the film. Uh, it's like almost uh, like a mission for us and my, especially my producer, Dr. Swaranji Singh, who is US based, uh, stays in Phoenix and by profession he's a doctor. But he's such a huge history buff that uh, he used to tell me he spent about 35 years in Chandigarh. Uh, when his friends were playing golf, he was into history books. So when he became a doctor, went to US, settled down there, and become a US citizen. And he was still poring over history books, over 50, 60 year, uh, books. And uh, he, uh, in fact, he was the one who uh, contacted me first in Bombay, saying that Sanjeevan, I find there is a great disconnect uh, between our next generation. Uh, you know, they don't know uh, the real reasons and he had already been in West, so he was looking at the whole independent from a, as an outsider, from a, an, uh, a different perspective and especially economic perspective. And it's not many of us were aware about it. So when he told me, uh, I felt there was something, you know, but then I took it initially as a professional project. My first thing was, you know, two hour documentary, historical, who would be interested in today the time when people are more interested in crime web series or Netflix, Amazon and this and that, who is going to look at history. But then I took it up as a challenge to make it at least visually interesting enough, pacey enough for people to at least uh, be engaged and in, be involved. But then gradually with the research and all, I uh, began getting so deeply involved in this whole subject that for me, it almost became a lifetime opportunity to do or make something that going to remain there as an archival, which has an archival value for generations to come. And uh, this is a film not every day get made. You know, you can find thousands of crime stories and thousands of love stories and this and that, but this is something you not everybody is going to come across, you know, easily. So it almost became uh, like a personal mission for me and Soranji and uh, in spite of not being a film man, Soranji stood by me. It has taken us six years to make, including the pandemic years. And finally, it culminated into a premiere at Goa uh, International Film Festival, uh, where we had the first premiere. Then Chandigarh is the second screening we are having. And uh, before we actually plan it out, uh, and honestly, the ministry behind us, uh, they are supporting IND ministry, Youth Affairs ministry, they are supporting us a lot. So we are planning a, a major screening event at Siri Fort in Delhi in the month of March where Sashi Tharu, William Dalrymple, all these people, nobody has seen the film so far. You know, so we are planning a screening there for them in Delhi and hoping that uh, Dr. Sohanjit also flies down from US for that occasion. And uh, the ministry is of course asking us to take it all over India, tell people because we have always been uh, told about nationalist uh, movement and nationalist leaders. But to give them their due, they did uh, fight for India's independence. They did put the pressure on Britishers and everything. But this is an economic aspect which is not known to many. You know, how the Britishers founded the army, made it army, and they made them, they used those army against us. You know, unka hamarai danda, hamarai sarpe. You know, till they financially went broke and they realized that the army was also getting out of their control and not going to listen to them anymore. So that was a breaking point for them. Now that's something we wanted to highlight in this film and I hope it comes across and uh, you all got the point. Now I would like to invite the Sick Lens founder, Sadar Bikhi Singh, and the festival director, Sri Ojasvi Sharma, to honor the maker of the film and say a few words. Beautiful film, and uh, Dr. Swaranjit is a uh, personal friend of our family and a uh, friend of Sikhlands. He is, uh, him and his wife, uh, Dr. Tejinder Kaur, they are uh, good supporters of our scholarship program. This probably you didn't knew, right? Uh, so, 
and uh, because you know when we got into this film we also had a lot of meetings and all that stuff and absolutely he's full of uh, history you can discuss history 24 by 7 and a few years uh, before pandemic i think uh, we were in pakistan and we were talking about constantly for 14 15 days he was like in our group and we were all discussing history and it's a true reflection in the film. And I wish you good luck and uh, we would love to screen this film in uh, November at the Chapman University's Film School where we have a four-day festival and uh, you know would love to extend and invite to you to come and visit us and Dr. Suranji has promised that you will be there. All right. Thank you. I think uh, uh Coming from the point of view, as sir discussed, that uh, the ministry will uh, in India will always try to push certain films. Uh, I understand this point and very well considerably that working with the same ministry, both of us, uh, it's it's a step that uh, right now India requires uh, to produce more such films. Uh, we need such films because there is a lot of information that comes through films that is not available in books, and that perhaps in this time that we are running day to day to work and using our cell phones and too busy uh, posting pictures and doing so much stuff, we have actually forgotten to talk about uh, what happened, what is the true picture and we are not reflecting enough. So such films are a great step uh, to, you know, towards a national integration movement, towards bringing true stories, towards bringing the unsaid uh, or uh, particularly that or introducing a certain dimension uh, that such films try to involve, evoke to the audience and Chandigarh's audience today is a witness to it and I am really thankful to Sanjeeva Lalji who was flown just last minute from Bombay yesterday and uh, to our founders Beki Singh Ji and Gurpreet Ma'am to take a stand to show such kind of films uh, through the festival. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, since uh, I am here, I just want to let you know that uh, one of my next project, future project, is uh, going to be on uh, uh, the soldiers that went from Punjab to France to for the first World War. So I am making uh, that film. I plan to make that film, and right now I am busy with the research and all. So anybody who has got anything to share with the first World War uh, can reach out to me. Thank you. Okay, so this topic is very dear to us, to Sikhlans. Our first film was with uh, Colonel Purvinder Singh. So you are at the right time, at the right place. He is full of archives. You know, that guy in the yellow curtain. I think you need to hang out with him. Yeah. All right? Okay. That's right. So that's the beauty of Sikhlans. You network right from the stage. Thank you so much. We begin with our performance segment. Thank you.